everybody, welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name is Mark. About three weeks prior to the publishing of this video, I did a video on a mixed reality window application for Microsoft Flight Simulator called Color Panel. And during that video, or towards the end of it, I said the following. It's going to be a fantastic option for flight training. It's going to be a fantastic option for flight simming in general, quite honestly. And I look forward to seeing what sort of developments we get from this. Well, the development in mixed reality for flight sim pilots has happened sooner than expected. And this time it's come from an established developer, RK Apps, with the introduction of SimXR. You might be familiar with RK Apps, they're the developer of FS Realistic and SimHaptic updated software for your shakers and butt kickers. And SimXR makes creating and configuring multiple windows within your VR environment quick, easy, and far more usable. This application is payware, but like all RK app applications, they don't want you to pay for anything you're not happy with, so they offer you a seven day free trial. And the cost? Well, just a tad under 10 US dollars. And in my book, that's value for money. There's a Microsoft Flight Simulator application, explained coming soon, and designed for VR headsets with full color pass through, and requires compatibility with the virtual desktop application. So headsets such as the Quest 2, Quest 3, Pico 4 and so on. My thanks to the developers and in particular Roy for access to this program. And if you're a member of my Discord and a regular member of the fly-in events, send me a personal message on Discord. I've got two free keys available, first come first serve, for those that qualify. Installing this application is a no-brainer. Simply unzip the file to a location of your choice. And you'll see five directories, SimXR1 through to 5. Each one of these is a separate window in VR. Simply copy one of the directories to your community folder if you only want one window, all five if you want five windows. For this video, I'm going to copy one, two, and three. Three separate windows will do me just fine. And that's it, and each window will appear in your top toolbar in VR. The very first time you open your first window in VR, you can start your seven day trial or enter your activation key number. You only need to do this once and you're good to go. For this demonstration, I'm in the Quest 3 and let's head over and start up virtual desktop. Bring up the virtual desktop menu. And the only setting we really need to concern ourselves with is the streaming tab. I have a 4090. So I'm on godlike mode. You will need something between a 4070 Ti and upwards to run at best resolution. And I'm currently running at 80 FPS. However, none of that's really relevant for Sim XR. What you need to do is make sure that the VR pass through is enabled. Select the configure tab and it's recommended red be set to 255, green set to zero and blue set to 255 to start off with. You can change that a little later on. Similarity, this is variable. The similarity defines the clarity of the pass through, what the pass through camera can see. So a setting between one and 5% is recommended. Uh, don't go any more than that, otherwise you're going to lose clarity in terms of the pass-through camera. Smoothness, again, is adjustable. Again, something fairly low is recommended. It defines the boundary, how clearly defined the boundary is between the pass-through camera and your virtual world. And that's it. And start Microsoft Flight Simulator. Welcome to VR. We're now on the runway, ready to go. Let's uh, have a look at our mixed reality windows. We'll do that by bringing up the top toolbar. There you can see XR1, XR2, XR3. I could have had just one window or I could have had up to five as previously mentioned. I'm going to select XR2 just to start off with and the window opens. The positioning of the window 
can be changed simply by moving it around and how close or far you are to it will vary depending on where you, the position of your head is so by moving your head so you can change the distance. This area here is the defining window area. You can make that as small or as large, just about as much as you would like to. And then in order to create a window, simply click in this area here in a number of areas. So I've now created a, uh, a basic window and uh, through there you can see the virtual world, the real world as it were. A couple of nice things, things we haven't seen before in terms of the windows is that you can now create curvatures which is quite a nice feature and something we haven't seen before. You can determine new points and if you decide no that's no good well you can delete that point and so on. Also you can reset at any time if you want to. So let's create a window. I've got a Navigraph uh, charts or maps open at the moment. Let's uh, have a window to define that. Move it around. That's more or less over the area that I want. We can now move this to suit. Just line up the corners. There we are. That's about right. That looks good. And we can get rid of the uh, menu simply by selecting close and now we can fly and at any time I can simply have a look at the map itself. One of the problems we have is when we close a window it does it remembers its size and shape but it doesn't remember its position. So I've also got the GNS 530 set up um, and I've already created the window so let's pull up that, that's under window XR1. You can change the rotation slightly by clicking on this top menu but you can see we, nothing has been shown but there's that window I had created previously. I can now move it back over the GNS 530 this is a physical device, wonderful peripheral from Flight Sim Builder. When I'm not in VR I've used it a lot and now I can use it in VR. You'll notice that um, on the screen here I've not uh, enabled it because I've, I've got the visuals within VR. All I want is access to the various knobs, switches and so on. I can close that and so now seeing where the dial is I can now change things as I want to and adjust as necessary. You can zoom out, zoom in, everything that you would normally do with it you can do. So very useful. Again let's uh, close XR2 window, we don't need that. And here's the big problem as I mentioned when we bring it back it's not clearly defined. Let me just close XR1. However if we resize it remembers its shape and size. I can close that but it's still not ideal. Not something you want to be doing all the time whilst you're in VR but hey at least something is there. It's a big step up from where we are and RK Apps are an established developer so we can have confidence that they'll be trying to overcome the limitation of remembering where the screen size is 
It is a limitation within the sim itself and not within the app, I understand, and hopefully over a period of time they'll be able to overcome that. Well, I think the development of mixed reality applications as applies to flight simulation is starting to gain some considerable momentum and with a developer, an established developer such as RK Apps behind it, while well, we can only look forward to continual refinement and development of MR within flight simulation. Now admittedly this application is not quite there yet due to the limitations not of the developer but of Microsoft Flight Simulator in terms of panel placement, certainly something to keep your eye on and this is certainly an application I'm going to be using. It's a worthwhile investment and it'll be very interesting to see how things develop in the future. Well, for now, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found this useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again in the not-too-distant future. And bye for now.